such a peaceful music in the National Park. Don't you think, guys? Don't you think? I don't know, I just like this music. It's such calming. To be honest, I can't remember how the DS remake sounds like. I have to look it up, look it up after this recording. So anyways, what's up guys, BoldMouseX here, and continue on my Let's Play of Pokemon Silver. Last time, we just went out, we just left Goldenrod City, and passed by Route 35, and we made, and we stopped at National Park because we made some progress, but we need some relaxation, and just want to calm our mind. Yeah, it doesn't make sense, but hey, I gotta use my calm mind. <laughs> Oh yeah, well, well yes. <laughs> so, in this let's play, or this part of this let's play, we'll go on to Route 36, Route 37, and hopefully we can make it to Yuka Creek City. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> we can make it on time. Maybe. Also look at this water fountain-ish, even though this is on Game Boy Color. But, hey, not that bad. Also, by the way, I did battle some trainers off-screen before recording this, so don't worry about it. And speaking of battling, Blaffy was so close to leveling up. She needs like 37. Well, not so close, but you know what I mean. <laughs> and I also healed my team, even though Blaffy is a little damaged, but she's okay. Some Pokemon can only be seen in the park. Well, yes, I did that earlier in the episode of the Let's Play of, you know, walk around on the grass. It also depends what time you find a wild Pokemon, like day, midday, or morning, day, and night, excuse me. The bug catching contest is held on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Not only do you earn a prize just for participating, you also get to keep a bug Pokemon that you catch. So there's a possibility I may do that, but I'm not sure when. I know it's like Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, hopefully I'm right. Double check this to make sure. I know it's Thursday, I know that. Okay, I was right. Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. But I just don't know when I'm gonna do that in this Let's Play, but hopefully, I can't promise, can't guarantee, but I just wanna say that. Let's see what kind of berry we can get. An ice berry, okay. It's just basically an ice seal. Yeah, I still whatever. <laughs> I'm about to say fully heal, but full heal, but whatever. <laughs> but yes, I'm going to read your thoughts. We got a psychic trainer. So what's your first Pokemon? How many do you have? Three. Psychic Mark wants to battle, and you sent out Abra. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Fine by me. And I'm sending out my Flappy, and she is so close to level up to level up to level. 21, okay, that kinda sounds bad. Rhyming? Oh gosh, flash. Oh, it failed miserably. Okay. That's fine. I'll finish it off. Finish you off with a thunder shot. Shabby. And fly through grid to level 21. Special attack pretty good. Otherwise, other stats is just so so but hey, not that bad. And he's sending on another Abra. Okay. I'm gonna just keep, keep on using Thundershock. Oh, so close. Lush! And my accuracy is lower, so let's... Excuse me. It's tackle. Alright, we did it. I'll leave Flappy on for this battle. Oh, he has a Kadabra. Okay. Two Abras and one Kadabra. Abra Kadabra. Yeah. <laughs> Using Kinesis, but it failed. So let's start with the. Let's give it back with the Thunder Shock. Yeah, it's pretty. Oh gosh, I didn't meant to use another Thunder Shock. I want to use Tackle. But, anyways, it's pretty good with defense. Kadabra, Alkazan. Let's take Kadabra. I think of a magic joke. Why are you trying to use Kinesis if it kept failing? Just asking. Wow. He even didn't even damage me. Flappy, I meant to say. But, I'll accept that. I misread you. Alright, before we head on to that path, let's check down. Why not? Okay, it's blocked, so that's the way we went. We went there in the, in the previous episode, but... 
Before we battle that trail, let's find some wild Pokemon around here. Something interesting, if I can. That is. Ah, it's just a need to rant now. Okay. Uh, also, I caught that need to rant for the heck of it. Just in case, man, we found another one. Before I go, I see it one more time if there's another Pokemon here. Wow, Pokemon I meant to say. And I need a red mail again. I can just get the lock from now on. Well, that's a bummer, but let's just move on. At least we can battle. Thanks to my studies, I'm ready for any Pokemon. Okay. <laughs> that's all I gotta say. It's a school kid. It's a school boy. Ow, it's the battle. And he has a tingle. Ooh! Level 16. Well, I got a level 21 Flappy. Damage you. You're a Tangela. It's not very effective because it's a bug type, of course. I don't know what was I thinking, but eh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so, to use. Tackle from now on. Sure, I could use Thunder Shock to paralyze, but. Oh boy. You know what? I'm just gonna switch. To Quilava! It's your turn, Kolava. Blacky, okay, come back. Do it, Kolava. Then absorb, okay. I'm gonna take my energy. Steal my energy and a critical hit, okay. Even though it's not very effective. But it's so so or just mad damage. I said meh, not mid. Whatever. <laughs> it's super effective. There you go. Oh, okay. Not too bad. And we defeated Schoolboy Allen. Whoops, corruption error. Oh, kind of. All right, time to wake up. Wake up my Flappy. If I have a, there you are. Awake. Come on, D-pad, okay. Wakey, wakey up, Flappy. There you go. You're awake. All right, we're still on Route 30. Oh, there's a tree that. One of the flower girls mentioned. We're still on Route 36, we're getting close to Route 37, and you can pick city. So, what happens if I press A? Well, this happened. Well, it can. Th that tree can shake, but if you don't have the squirt bottle. I mean, okay. Let me rephrase that. If you don't have a squirt bottle, it just shakes when you press the A button. If you have a squirt bottle like this, and use it. The weird, nah, the weird tree doesn't like doesn't like the squirt bottle. The weird tree attacked. And yes, it's a Pokemon, and that is Sudo Wudo. Sudo Wudo. Sudo Wudo. It is a ground and it is a rock type Pokemon or ground type. A, I get typing mixed for Sudo Wudo confused, but hey. It's a cool Pokemon, but uh, I'm not gonna add it to my team. I'm just gonna cap catch it. Why not? <laughs> so, Blocky is not good enough to handle this pseudo world because, again, it's a rock slash ground type. And then it flail. Okay. Whoa! Yeah, I Nick. It was just damage pseudo world with pseudo wudo <laughs> with my water gun, even though it's so so damage. That's me use Tilla for Water Gun. Okay, Water Gun. Even though there's no healing ability for Water types in this generation until Gen 3. I'm using Flail, and that will take down my Wooper in a few minutes. Yeah, it's pretty strong in defense, both physical and... No, well, mostly a physical type of Physical type focus? I'm not entirely sure. Cause I ever struggled with this Pokemon to capture a Pokemon Coliseum. Alright, I'm gonna go with Noctowl. And make it a sleep, fall asleep, so let's use hypnosis. There you go. I'm just gonna catch it, but I'm not gonna use it as part of my team. Tackle. 
Yeah, normal type is not very effective to the Widow. Because again, rock slash ground type. I said slash because I kind of forgot the, the correct typing for Sudo Widow. <laughs> uh oh, Mario. Get to some this one more time to make it fall asleep. I want to make it weaker so I can catch it. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Alright, it's time to catch it. So, let's do this! Pokeball, go! Ah, oh, broke free! It didn't shake one. Still don't work time. Go, Pokeball! Two, three, and we got it. We got Pseudo Wudo. Pseudo Wudo, an imitation Pokemon. It disguises itself as a tree to avoid attack. It hates water, so it will disappear if right if it starts raining. Well, I use a squirt bottle to wake you, or to move away, please. <laughs> so now we can progress on. And I remember I was stuck here because I have no idea what to do until you. Until you gotta go back to Golden Rod City and ask the Golden Girls. Golden Girls. seven years old when I first played Pokemon Crystal because I just wanted to fool around with the game and just have fun because I wasn't into RPGs at the time. And so I played the most of the remake, Soul Silver, which I like, unfortunately I don't have it anymore. That's me because I lost it. Sad. Anyways, enough of that diddly daddling. Let's just go Go on ahead so we can make this I believe we are in Route 30 Route 37. And we're battling the twins, and an on, or on and an. And pick up on from Persona 5. Anyways, one of the twins sent out a level 60 Gilly Puff. Too bad. And they do get a little stronger to trainers later in the game, of course. And this Gilly Puff used to Defense curl the race, physical defense, by using my special attack, and we did. Okay, never mind. And fly to grid level 22. Oh yeah. No new moves, sadly, but that's a okay. And the next Pokemon they have is Clefairy. So I'm gonna switch to Quilava. It's your turn, Quilava. So go! Ooh, double slap, okay. Two, three, three hits. Alright, let's give you it. 
a burn to the taste, or a burn to the face, a burn to the ground. Why don't you say that? Okay, you're using Encore, so I can keep using Ember. I'll accept that, because... You're gonna faint in a few minutes, so... Yeah. Thanks for the quote-unquote help, Cliff Fairy. If you shouldn't use Encore, that is. <laughs> We defeated the twins. You're mean. Oh, well, that's part of battling. <laughs> Pokemon can't do a thing if they are asleep. I'll show you how scary that is. What about it? Tell me what kind of Pokemon you have, Psychic Trainer Greg. He has one Pokemon, and that is Rousey. We're not going to Hypnos. Lullaby again. <laughs> Which I did that as part of my Halloween special. So you can check that out on my channel if you want to after this video. Even though Halloween is over, but it's pre Christmas season now because it's the 13th of November and you see early Christmas decorations at this month. And I don't mind because I like Christmas. And my Thunderstruck got disabled, so I have to use Tackle from now on. My physical attack for Flappy. And he uses Hypnosis, so my Flappy is asleep. Lovely. Wake up, Flappy. Not the pit for the hood. Oh no, Dream Eater. Dream Eater. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. And that stole my HP. Oh no. It's, he's gonna use Dream Eater again, isn't he? I knew it! I knew it! The point was paral- Ooh, the point was paralyzed. But my Thunder Shock is still disabled! <laughs> I do wanna switch, but I don't know. I just wanna keep using Flappy. And my Thunder- And my Thunder Shock is still disabled, and Flappy's still asleep. <laughs> It's a fourth turn. And Flappy's gonna fan in a few minutes. Come on, Flappy. Come on. Oh, I can't use my potion, but oh well. So it's like in the reverse Uno card he did on me. That stinks, but he did well, Flappy. Now it's your turn, Coilava. Use Ember! Ember! Ah, oh, man. Ooh, critical hit. Nice. It, it missed. Now finishing off with Ember one more time. And we did it. And Quilava grew to level 22. No new move, but that's cool. I lost. That's pretty sick. Yeah, for defeating my Flappy, that is. <laughs> yeah, we should be in Route 37 now. Yep, we're getting close to Yuka Creek City. We're halfway there, except for this one. Who could it be? Wait, oh, it's Stantler. Okay, well, it's almost time for the free Christmas season. So, yeah, I'm just gonna catch you, but not part of my team. I just wanna, I just want to fill some data for the Pokedex at least, I don't know. I just You're not gonna be part of my team, but I just wanna catch you. Pretty sweet. Link up until not this again.
Oh, so close. I'll catch the great ball. I got great balls! Hope by freelancer ever. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just too funny. What the heck? There's a way. I just wanna catch you. Hopefully you don't think. Ah! Why did I say that? It doesn't matter. I was gonna catch you, but... Ah, that's... Is that hey PG, we all know about you. Wow, as soon as I said that Stanmore, hopefully Stanmore doesn't faint, and he did. <laughs> especially, I jinx myself. Jinxing yourself in RPGs can happen. Mostly RPGs. Sure, it can happen in other genres of gaming, but RPGs can happen the most, in my opinion. Particularly RPGs like this one. For instance. We got a lot of apricorns here, okay. And we can just progress on. Who could it be? Hi Pidgeotto. We already we already know about you again. Just like your pre evolution form Pidgey. So yeah. Alright, let's just keep on going. Oh man, oh man. That's Stanward though, and we made it to Yucatrix City. Yay! That's just, I wanted to say that. So now, we made it to Yucatrix City. As we can find a Pokemon gym around here. Excuse me? Kind of burp. Or fourth gym, excuse me. <laughs> so, let's just look around the town before we end off the video, and there's a gym already here. The gym leader of the Yucatrix City, his name is Morty, the mystic seer of the future. This gym is focused either between either psychic or ghost type, or dark. Either three of them. That's all I can think of from what I remember. And Morty is cool, even though it could get a little annoying at times when battling him, but honestly, he's not that bad. He's pretty cool, in my opinion. Is there really a Pokemon that big? If it exists, it must be powerful. Well, legendaries, of course, if that doesn't count. This happened when I was young. The sky suddenly turned black. A giant flying Pokemon was blocking out the sun. I wonder what that Pokemon was. It was like a bird and a dragon. Oh, we... That Pokemon. I seen that before. But we won't get to that in later of the Let's Play. Lake of Rage. That'll be probably something for the next... Or the future Let's Play episode of this. Let's Play. <laughs> Burn Tower. It was destroyed by a mysterious fire. Please stay away, and it is unsafe. This is the burn tower, even though, again, it's a Game Boy Color, and they change it to make it actually like a burn tower in the remakes, like Hargo and Soul So. I just wanted to point that out. And. Two towers, two Pokemon, but when one burned down, both Pokemon flew away, never returned. Yucatrix used to have two towers, one each in the east and west. Yep, that's the one we can go in, but not yet until the next episode or two. Who knows? Just depends. Yucatrix Dance Theater. We have to talk to that old man. Ah, youngster, have you learned to dance like the Kimono Girls? If you go to their dance theater, an odd old man will give you something nice, I hear. Where's Brock that you need him? Not only are the Komodo Girls great dancers, they're also skilled at Pokemon. I always challenge them, but I've never even left a scratch. Lad, if you can defeat all of the Komodo Girls, I'll give you a gift. 
Yep, you need to feed all the kimono, gir kimono girls here. You get a gift from the old man, but... Hmm... I'm gonna have to say that for the next episode. Says he wants a Pokemon that can surf and dance. Is he trying to make a synchronized swimming Pokemon? And there are the kimono girls. I'm not gonna talk to them yet. The kimono girls are so beautiful, but they had to go through rigor rigorous, rigorous training. And they had to learn to follow customs before appearing in public. But if you love something, anything is possible. So yeah, there's like a lot of... Com five kimono girls, or three if you have to battle, but I'm not gonna do that until the next episode. I think it's the perfect time to end off this episode. End off this video here. Episode. But anyways, I'm probably it's a good way to end off this video here, so thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, leave a like. Comment and even subscribe to my channel if you want to. Also, follow me on Twitter for just. Oh! Hi, I'm Bill. And who you are? Who are you? Oh, Chris, huh? You come at the right time. I just finished adjustments on my time capsule. You know that Pokemon can be traded, right? My time capsule was developed to enable trades with the past. But you can't send anything yet didn't exist in the past. If you did, the PC in the past would have a breakdown. So you have to remove anything that wasn't around in the past. Put simply, no sending new moves or new Pokemon in, time, in the time capsule. Don't you worry, I'm done with the adjustments. Tomorrow, time capsules will be running at the all Pokemon centers. I have to hurry on back to Goldenrod and see my folks. Bye bye! Yep, that was Bill. So, there's a time capsule. What is a time, ca time capsule, you ask? It's basically transferring your Pokemon from red, green, blue, and yellow to this. In a nutshell. So, as I was saying, I were, I'm going to say the ending again, so thank you guys for watching. If you liked this video, leave a like, comment, uh, whatever. <laughs> so, as I was saying, forget that part. <laughs> so, you can also follow me on Twitter if you want to, for just random stuff in general. And I can't wait for Pokemon Sword and Shield this Friday. Just two days to go. Two days left. I can't wait. So yeah. Next time on Pokemon Silver, we, we will battle against the Kimono Girls. And explore around the towers. And hopefully, hopefully we can battle the Yucatrix City Gym Leader, Morty. So stay tuned for that. Anyways, thank you again guys for watching. Be safe. Stay cool, and need to be positive yourself for anyone around our area. Anyways, I'll see y'all in the next video. Later!